What's up? I'm Mr. G, and today we're doing a balance lesson. All right, we're gonna measure as low as we can. We're gonna measure this dime without a scale. We're just gonna use balance. All right. So let's get started with the bigger stuff first. You're gonna need a couple of things, right? You're gonna need something to balance. I don't know, a stick, whatever. Okay, it's gotta have a flat surface on it somewhere. I just grabbed this, right? Uh, you're gonna need the teeter-totter center. This is the fulcrum, this is the pivot, right? Now, uh, what I do to make it easier is I take a piece of uh, towel and I put it down and I'll show you why. Because when you go to balance, see how the pivot moves? It's hard to balance, right? So you need something to stop the pivot from rolling and I just put down a towel. Okay, put down the towel. Boom, now you can balance, right? So there, yeah, we got it. Balanced, all right? So we gotta start with a known, all right? When it comes to science, science is all about knowns and unknowns, right? It's like the stuff you know and the stuff you don't know, right? So, okay, so here's something we know. This is a can of soda. Uh, it's 12 ounces, right? What's not known is how much is in here. Now this one's light. I, I can't describe to you how light this is. I don't know how to do it, but we're gonna show you actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the 12 ounces and I'm going to put the 12 ounces somewhere on the balance. Now notice, look at this. I'm waiting until it falls, okay? Bringing it in right about, right about here, there. Check it out, it's balanced. Okay, now you're gonna take a ruler. Hopefully you have a ruler, all right? Just something to measure with, you know? Now if you don't have a ruler, it's okay. You just kind of take something like a pencil and you say, oh, right, well, it's about ha half a pencil to uh, a pencil and a half. You know what I mean? You mark it with your finger, okay? But I have a ruler. So I'm just looking at it and I say to myself, from the center, I'm just eyeballing it, from the center to the center of the can, center of the fulcrum to the center of the can. I, I know fulcrum is like a weird word. It's not, you know, I understand, but you know, just the center. Okay. The center pivot to the center can is four inches. And from the center there to there is about 10 inches. Okay. All right, so let's take them off so they don't fall. Okay, so the uh, soda was over here, and one of the sodas was over here, and the pivot was towards this side, right? So you want to know how far from here to just the idea of the center. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? So how far is that? And then you wanna know kind of the center from question mark to there. Okay, so you need, uh, there's a question mark here too. So we came up with, it was uh, four on one side. Let's just put a four on there. And the other one was 10, right? So what you do is you say, uh, 10 divided by 4 equals, let's see, how many times does this go in? It goes in uh, 2 times, and then what's left over is 2, so then it would be 0. 0.5. Okay? So now this is our ratio. Okay? So that means what we do next is we say, okay, well, I know in this can, there you go, 12 flu fluid ounces. Okay? So you say 12 divided by 2.5 equals. So basically, you got 12 ounces divided by 2.5. That's the ratio from it was 10 inches to 4 inches. Uh, divided by 2.5 is, I guess I started the problem there. And then what I did was I did long division. I don't know if you guys know how to do that. Uh, I didn't know how to do it either. I forgot. <laughs> so then I went and did it. 
uh, 12, so 2.5 goes into 12 4.8 times. Then that means that's that means that this can, oh, not this one, the heavy one, let's see. This can, the light one, is 4.8 ounces, okay? So I'm going to write that right on there. There you go. Okay, so the next thing we're going to measure is we're going to confirm it with this. You see this here? It's 2.5 ounces. This is like a cliff bar. It says... 2.4 ounces, right? So I think this one is 4.8, but I just don't know. So the way I'm going to confirm it is we're going to balance it. I think it's 4.8. Uh, and then we know this is a known, so this is an unknown. We're going to confirm. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, 4.8 somewhere in here. And let's go to the end of the scale here. And let's move this out until it balances. So I got my hand over here, and it should balance when I'm back there you go okay so I'm gonna measure now and you know you just eyeball it so from there to there is about seven and from there to there is about 14 so it's like half right 14 seven all right we're gonna check the numbers ready 14 divided by seven equals two. So that's seven goes into four, uh, 14 twice, right? So then that means that's a, uh, a, a two to one ratio, right? That's your ratio right there. Just like we had a ratio before. Okay. So now we know that this is 4.8 ounces, the can. If you divide that by two, you're going to get half of this. So what's half of eight? It's four. What's half of four? It's two. 2.4, right? That's exactly what this is. That is, that's so cool. I mean, I actually was generally surprised that it works out. All right. So can we go further? What else can we measure? Let's get down to even smaller. All right, now you know how to do the math. Let's take it to the next level. Once again, balance your beam. I was actually kind of hungry, so I, uh, you know, I'm like, arr, 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 you know, eating a cliff bar. This is the one we measured and confirmed. Okay, and this is the one I ate. So I want to know how much did I eat, right? So let's do it, okay? It's not going to be perfect this time, okay? I'm going to put this uh, all the way out at the close to the 14 and we're going to weigh this one until we get there. That's it. Now we measure. We know this is about 14 and this one is about 10. Okay, so it's a 14 to 10 ratio. All right. Now time for the math. Okay, so you go 14 uh, divided by 10. All you do is move the decimal place, which equals 1.4. Okay. Same thing here. What you do, you take that ratio, right? And you put it here. So if you know that it is 2.4 ounces, you say 2.4 divided by 1.4, right? And that's going to give us how much is in my half-eaten bar, as you can see here with the bite marks. So now we know this is 1.71 ounces, all right? So now we're going to take the balancing beam. We're going to put it back on the balancer. Good. Now what I want to measure next is a quarter, right? So I'm going to put the quarter at the 14 mark. I'm going to take the 1.7 ounces. Ooh, it doesn't take much. It's like two inches. Okay. Uh, 14 by two. All right. So let's get to the math. All right. Come on. All right. So we know that uh, we got 14 on one side for the quarter divided by two. Obviously, that's seven. Right. So now we know that's the ratio. So if we got 1.7 for 
for the ounces, I think it's 1.71, divided by 7, that's going to give us what the quarter is. And we're going to use the calculator for that. Okay, uh, looked it up on the calculator and we got 1.71 divided by 7, which was our ratio, 17 inches by 2 inches. Um, 1.71 was the ounces inside of this, the half eaten, because this is the full, 2.4. Then you divide that by 7, that's our ratio, and then you get uh, 0.244 of an ounce. I looked it up, turns out that a quarter is actually two uh, is actually 0 0.20 of an ounce so it's pretty close even though it sounds like it should be 0.25 because it's a quarter but we're talking about ounces not cents all right so the next thing is last piece of the puzzle can we measure the dime all right let's go do that so balancing beam again dime at the 14 mark here comes the quarter it's pretty good now Let's take a measurement. I know the 14. That's four. Okay, 14 by four inches, all right? Okay, so 14 inches divided by four equals 3.5. That's our ratio. Now, we know that the quarter weighs, well, according to our calculations, it's 0.244. But we know that it's two point, I confirmed it on the web, it's 0 0.200, so I say 0 0.200 divided by 3.5, and I'll use the calculator to do that. Okay, so point, so again, 14 inches divided by 4 is a 3.5 ratio, 0 0.200, which is the ounces of a quarter, divided by 3.5, which is our ratio, that gives you 0 0.057, that's what the dime weighs of an ounce but let's look it up to confirm uh, i got pretty close uh, a dime is actually 0 080 of an ounce all right so you can see that it's kind of fun you get to measure stuff all right so your challenge is to see how small you can measure something and can you confirm it start with something that's a known that was 12 ounces figure out something that's an unknown this ended up being 4.8 Confirm it with something known. Get to a point where you confirm something that's unknown. And then figure out something really. You want to see before and after pictures on each one. So when you weigh it, take a photo. Have someone help you. When you're finished, take a photo. Do the math. And then confirm it. All right. And make a little video at the end. Maybe 30 seconds. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. G. See you later.